right, now you should have everything installed dependency wise from the previous section. This includes having the Rust toolchain installed with the nightly version along with the front end templates. And you should also have gotten a little bit familiar with the polka.js explorer. So now the next thing that we need to do is install the substrate node templates. Now what this does is it gives us everything we need to build our own frame based palette as well as our own blockchain. All the commands will be available as usual in the assisting documentation. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just get clone this over here. And if you need this repository, it'll be either in the description of the video or in the documentation after the video. So without further ado, let's get it cloned. So right here, you want to get cloned. And I set, actually set up a custom node template repository that makes it a little bit easier to work with. And we're just going to clone that. And then you want to change directory into it. So CD substrate node dash templates dash course. And once we're in here, you can see that it is a regular Rust project. Oops. It is a regular Rust project with everything you need to create your blockchain. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is we need to actually build it. So let's do cargo build. Actually, let's run it. Cargo run dash dash release two more dashes space and then dash dash dev to run in development mode. So your command should look just like this. Go ahead and hit run. Now this is going to take a while to compile. So I suggest you go do something else for maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes, depending on how fast your system is, this is going to take a little bit. Okay. And once it's fully compiled, you should see this chain start to run and it should look like this. Uh, I stopped it here and I'm going to run it again by running the same exact command as last time, which is cargo run dash dash release dash dash and then dash dash dev. And this will start up a development chain with nothing on it yet. So this essentially has no customization. It's just a purely running blockchain. And as you can see, the blocks are going and the blockchain is working. So congratulations, you just successfully compiled and are running your own, well, not yet custom, but a blockchain or substrate based chain on your computer. Congrats. So we can actually go to the polka.js.org explorer right here, and we can Make sure you go here and you select local node and potentially just click switch there and it'll switch to your local node and click on chain info and you can actually see all the recent blocks starting to populate and you can see the blockchain actually working in real time in the explorer. So just to verify that it's working, you can come in here and have a look at what your blockchain is doing. With that out of the way, then we can get into actually diving into the core guts of this blockchain nodes code and we can actually start to add our custom module, which is going to be a cool about me basis of a social media kind of module, which we'll be getting into very, very soon.